Board certified clinical pharmacist Madeline Aquilano here to discuss the importance of disposing of those unneeded medications and how we can all do so safely. Madeline, thanks so much for being with us here today. Thank you for having me. Sam and I were just saying we both have some old stuff in our medicine cabinets at home. So <laughs> why is it so important to clean out your medication supply at home? Yeah, so I always think of two major reasons for disposing of medications at home. The first being that they're simply expired. Um, all medications, both over-the-counter and prescription, have carried expiration dates since 1979, and these expiration dates are critical to determine if a medication is safe to use. Expired medications can just become less effective, but they may also pose a health risk due to changes in chemical composition, potential bacterial growth, and more. So essentially, once an expiration date has passed, that medication can no longer be guaranteed safe and effective, so you don't want to use it. And then the second major reason is that they're just no longer needed. So maybe you have extra opioids from a surgery laying around. Maybe your provider just changed the medication, but you still have some at home. Whatever the case may be, if you don't need it, best thing is to dispose of it because that really helps to decrease the risk of our children and pets accidentally ingesting them and being harmed. Which leads me to the next question because you hear about people flushing it down the toilet or throwing it in the trash. How do yeah. you safely dispose of these expired medications? Yeah, so I'll first say if your provider has given you specific disposal instructions for a specific medication, always follow that. But in general, the best practice is drug take-back centers, but you can, like you said, dispose of them at home if needed. Um, if you were to do a quick Google search, you would probably find that flush method or flush it list, but it's really important to note that Connecticut actually does not endorse this um, method of disposal because Flushing medications down the toilet or sink can actually cause water pollution. It impacts our drinking water, and it can have adverse effects on other things like our septic systems, fish, and aquatic life. So the best thing to do is to, one, keep the medication in its original container and remove your personal information from it. Then modify that medication in some way. Some people think of coffee grounds, but you want to discourage consumption. And then you seal and conceal it in some kind of a non-see-through container, and then you discard that container in the regular trash. Um, you can find more information and, like, specifics on those four steps on the ct.gov website, but it is pretty simple overall. So next week, I guess, is National Drug Take-Back Day. How does that work? Yeah, so like I said, the best method of disposal is always a drug take-back facility, which those are normally found in either a pharmacy or like a law enforcement facility. But honestly, a lot of people just don't know that they exist, or even if they do know they exist, they aren't always top of mind when we're at home cleaning out our medications. So that's why I love bringing awareness to this service and to National Drug Take-Back Day. So that is happening this year on April 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And actually here in Connecticut, as of 2021, we have 116 official drug drop boxes. And last year through those boxes, we disposed of just over 48,000 pounds of medications, which is incredible. And the process is super easy. So if I were you, I would take the next 10 days or so, gather up your expired and unneeded medications, do a quick little Google search to see which location is nearest to you, and then drop off those medications on April 30th or honestly any other day that that center is open. Sounds good. Sam and I have been taking notes. Madeline Aquilano, we thank you so much from Harford Hospital. <laughs> thank you.